What's up guys? I am bringing you a customer's bow build today because what you've been asking for and so that's what we're going to rock. This is the RX-7. It looks sick in this color. We have already set it up before we decided to do the video, but I'm going to run you through everything we're doing. It's set at a 29 and a half inch draw length and we're going to check the poundage right now for you. This RX-7 is the 30 inch axle to axle bow. We've got the Ultra S Integrate on it. Let's check poundage. Man, that feels good. 71.5, and we're holding 10.4. So what we're gonna do right now is he brought his arrow, he got arrows this morning um, for his other bow, and we're gonna go ahead and set them up for this bow. We've already cut them. Let's go run this. I have I've just put a rest on it. We have not done anything else with it. Let's just go run it through paper and see what the bow does immediately right out of paper. So we've got a FMJ, 300 spine, it's weighing 508 grains. We'll check the, we'll check out how it spines out of here. We meant to make a few adjustments. I'm literally just center shot it, put a center shot on it. We're not doing anything else to it and want to see how it comes out of paper with a center shot. Uh, we're slightly off here. If you want to look at that, we got a little bit of a right tear with the center shot on that. So we'll make a little bit of adjustment. Um, I will actually adjust the rest just slightly to get it paper tuned. It's just gonna be a micro click. When you get these micro click um, rests, like we have some videos down below, it just allows you to make some really fine tuned adjustments. And that's telling us our spine's right. We just need to make a, a little bit of adjustment off the of center, a smidge to bring it back in. So everything's center shotted, 300 spine arrow, 508 grains. It actually spined just right. Just make a little bit of adjustment. Let's go run through the chrono. 508 grains, 29 and a half inch draw length, and we have a um, 71.5 pounds, something like that. Two seventy-three. We'll recheck that again. Don't take our chrono for what it's worth. We have a lot better one coming in. I'm just giving you what our chronograph is saying. We're gonna run it three more times just to give you a little bit more speed on it. But a 500 and great, 508 grain arrow, decent weight. Um, and then we'll reshoot this whenever we get the lab radar in. Because again, we're having major issues with our chrono. Take the speed for what it's worth. I'm assuming that this bow is actually shooting in the 280 range. Two seventy five. So the margin of error in there, this is probably right around that 280 range with uh, the new chronograph. We'll test it, but just giving you all the speeds out of our current chronograph. Awesome bow. One shot, two shot type of paper tune on it. We'll go back and adjust that. Amazing bow. Draw weight is um, 71.5. The draw cycle is crazy smooth. The colors they use on these new bows is awesome. So that's a customer build for you with an FMJ at 508 grains. We're gonna be in that 280 range speed wise, 29 and a half inch draw, 71.5 pounds. Phenomenal bow, love it. So what we're doing right now is he's, we aligned his peep to his sight, he's getting his anchor. We're gonna come back and put a nose button in. He's just shooting for the center of the target to get dialed in. Nice, nice. We just gotta move it a little bit. We're a little bit low. Um, so what we're gonna do now with him is we're not gonna focus on a big target. We're gonna start focusing him in on the orange dots. So when we sight in, we don't, we're gonna start, we start with the big target but since he's shooting so well just on his own, we're gonna start aiming in. I'm gonna start correcting form. We're gonna aim for a little bitty dot. So the margin of error when we're sighting in is much smaller. If you're aiming for this, your pin's gonna float over all this. We want our pin to only float this much so our margin of error is within there when we're sighting it in. So we're gonna go back now, we're gonna put a nose button on, and then we're gonna redial for that quarter sized target. Don't look for the nose button. I'm gonna move it to where your nose is. Then you're gonna let down slowly and then I'm gonna tie it in, okay? Because if you shoot it, it's gonna fly off. But this, I love the nose button. Kisser buttons are awesome too. Um, I just feel like this gives you a little bit more, like a specific location of where it goes on your nose each time. So when you draw back, it's the repetition of the exact same spot every single time. Does that make sense? So like if we move just a little bit, it's gonna change our point of impact. Where now, if it touches the tip of our nose, you're gonna be a slightly to the side because you wear glasses. It's gonna be slightly to the side of your nose and it's gonna feel that point every single time. It won't scratch you, it just it lifts forward. Yeah, it's, I feel naked if I don't have one on my bow right now, so.
anchor down just like you did earlier, and then I'm gonna move that nose button. All right. you feel that? Keep the same pressure you had before. There you go. All right, let down without shooting. Good, good. He did a good job letting that down too. So we put the nose button on the bow um, and we aimed for a real small dot. I, I tweaked a little thing because we moved him back to the nose button to find the same location. Also, instead of putting your, tr your finger over the trigger and slamming it, we got his finger over it and pulled through. So let's see how he hits now. This is his second, or his third shot out of the bow actually with the siding in the sight. Go ahead and fix your stance real quick. Pull your leg in this way. There you go. Get your nose, nose button first. There you go. Feel the trigger. Feel the trigger. There you go. There you go. We shot a little bit higher this time because your nose button was here yes, instead of the tip location we had at the time before. Yes, sir. I but can feel that. But you're consistent in your grip. You're, you're not shooting real far left and right. Yes, sir. Like the difference is, is your height on where that is. We'll dial it in. Just get it on there like you had it earlier. You, you like same dot on the tip of the nose. And then one thing I like to teach too is you've got a you got a circle on your peak. So it's a circle, right? I want you to take that circle, I want the top curves aligned. So top curve to top curve. We just breathe, no big deal, just have fun with it. There you go, that looks good. Feel that trigger. There you go. Good job.